All right, so this is how we're going to do it. Um, and we're going to add <clears throat> maybe a special effect to it if I have time. I have uh, some errands to run here in a, a few moments. So uh, we'll see if we can get this in. Um, so we're going to do a new project, a new composition. We're going to call it binary. And I'm going to go ahead and do it at 1080. And let's change the duration to just 10 uh we're going to change it to 10 seconds. Background color black, because whatever. I'm going to change this to fit. And now what you need to do is go to your text tool. Just click anywhere and put in eight characters. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you could do a space in between the four. That will work too, but we're just going to do a space at the end to keep each section of eight separate, each bit separate. So, um, but you could just run them all straight together. It all depends on what you want to do. I'm going to change the font to OCR. Um, this is not a default, um, a default uh, font. You can get it from your um, Creative Cloud, or you can just find one somewhere else and download it. So we got that. We got the eight characters and a space at the end. I'm going to go ahead and change the font size down um, a little bit here and just make it big enough so it's reason readable. But in the end, you probably want to make them smaller. Um, so yeah. So what we need to do now is just get a full line. So we're just going to, in our text tool there, inside of that, we're going to do Control A, Control C. And I think I see, you know where this is going. We just paste them in until we get the full line. Using our align and character tools, um, I'm going to change the font size down a little bit. And align. We're just going to go ahead and do three across. Um, you might want to do more. Just to, whoops, just to um, make it look more uh, like there's more data, if that makes sense. Whoops. Perfect. Okay. So we got that. Now what we want to do is just uh, align this. to the top and there we go so we got that now uh, we're going to go ahead and animate this one and then we're going to fill up the screen so to animate this you just uh, uh, let me get rid of that there there we go so from here uh, you go down here drop down on the text uh, you want to select animate character offset Change the off character offset option to one. This now it changes all the offset. It changes everything to one because you changed the offset to one. So now we want to add selector wiggly, and let's just play that real quick. And you can see it changes everything to zero, one, and nine because between zero, we got. Uh, Minus one from zero is nine, plus one from zero is one. So uh, we now we click on the wiggly selector. And to make it all ones and zeros, you change the min amount to zero. And now we got all ones and zeros. Okay, that's all you need to do for that. Um, so if you just wanted to do one line, if you want, you're done. Okay. But we want to fill the whole screen. So what we do is we just go back into the text. Um, let's go ahead and take that last space off there. Um, now it's a little tiny bit off, but we're good. OK, 
Okay, so now what we want to do is select all. Sorry, I had a family thing there. Uh, and then control C to select the whole line, or copy the whole line. Hit your end key, enter, control V paste. Control V paste. Until you get the full screen done here. Oh, that fits perfectly. Oh, I love it when it works. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and play that. Oops. Just got to make sure you click out of the text area so it doesn't change. And then hit your space. And now you have your ones and zeros. That's it. You're done. Um, you can go in. You, there's two ways to change the colors here. Uh, you just select all, go to uh, character, and then you can just change your color. Whoops. Change your color here. And if you're trying to do a, an old school style, <laughs> I keep doing that. Um, green or type of a green is what you want. Um, but whatever. And you can change it also using adjustment layers. And also using the adjustment layers, you can add different effects to it, like glow effects um, to give you a little glow around it, just to make it more futuristic, like a classic futuristic type thing. Um, but we're just going to leave it as it is. Um, here and you're done um so let's just go ahead and export that uh do a quick render of it i think it's going under my videos uh let's see what's today is this it nope that one's broken time is it? Huh. Let's not let me render it. All right, let's go to, we'll render it in uh, the media queue. It just takes an extra minute to load it. Or extra moment or two. Um, for some reason, the After Effects renderer, it doesn't quite uh, work. As you expect, I not like it used to. I'm not. I'm not sure why. Um, but running it in the media encoder takes care of that. Come on, we're just going to change it to our video directory. And yes, they're called directories, not folders. Surrender that out. Should go pretty fast because. Wow, it's taking a lot longer. Oh, because it's got to do every number. <laughs> That's why. That's why it's taking a while. Yep. So, yeah, um, while we're waiting, I did one of these a long time ago. Um, it seemed to help a lot of people on my other channel. But uh, this is my new channel. So. I might do one on how to do a Marvel type intro where they got the flip in the, the pages. Um, but I think there's probably a bunch of those already. So maybe I won't. Okay, so videos. That's better. So we got our video there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import this into After Effects. Okay, make a new comp. It's gonna call, we're going to go ahead and leave it at comp one. Then we're going to pull in that binary MP4. This way, it doesn't have to render each character. And we're going to add a new adjustment layer. And let's do let's do um, let's do a bulge here, maybe. It's going to drop that on the adjustment layer. And uh, let's turn this camera off here. Uh, let's see. How do I do that? There we go. And we're going to go down to effects, bulge. I guess we could do it up here. Uh, bulge height is one, bulge center. All right, let's change the radius. 
like so. Okay, so you can see how it zooms in. But we're going to leave that here for now. Make sure we're at the beginning of the comp. Let's set a keyframe for horizontal and vertical. And uh, I guess I made this comp really short. Um, so we're just going to go a few frames in. Let's say right about halfway through. And then we're going to set another keyframe. Change it all the way up. Let's say there. Let's do that. And we're going to do this like so. So now we got. Okay, let's shorten that down. Select those keyframes. Let's do that. So it comes out faster. Still too long. So. Let's change it down to 10 frames. Okay, so we got that. And now what we can do, add new text. And we'll just say intro. And we're going to make it rather large. Oops, let's select the text and then make it rather large. Like that. Okay, so we have that there. And we're going to add a stroke to it. Now we're just going to change the color to red. Just so it stands out a little bit more. You can change it, add effects or whatever, to, however you want. Okay, so we're going to say that's big enough. We're going to go into the transform. And we're going to change the scale whoop, to zero. on both. So there, now it's gone. And let's set a keyframe for that scale. And we're going to go ahead to 10th frame. Set another keyframe and change that scale to 100. Okay, so you'll have to play around with the size a little bit to get it how you want. But now it kind of looks like, let's change this a little bit longer. You'll have to add more effects to it, but now it kind of looks like the, the text is pushing out the bulge, through the bulge. And then let's do, on the adjustment layer, let's turn that bulge. So we, now we got it at 100. A couple more frames in. Let's add another keyframe for bulge. Um, horizontal and vertical. And we're just going to set those back down to zero. You don't need to do both, but if you want it to do in and out. So now we got this. So now the intro comes out with the the text and the bulge goes away. Um, pretty simple, simple little effect. Um, you, you definitely need more of it, like something to maybe a 3D option to make it look like it's pulling out a little bit more. Maybe add like a, a glow to the outside of it. Uh, maybe add a glow into the bulge. Um, that sort of thing. Um, you got you got a lot of options here, but. Um, Big suggestion is to render out, once you do the ones and zeros, get them the way you want, um, render it out to a video, um, and then import it back in. That way, each time you um, play it, it doesn't have to uh, calculate the ones and zeros any longer. Um, just to speed it up quite a bit. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, helps me out a lot. Uh, share it is another good way. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any questions or issues or problems, feel free to add it into the comments. Um, also helps me out some. All right. Thank you and uh, enjoy.